all right hey there cancerians welcome let's go ahead and let's get started all right i feel like there's like a low vibration around your energy for me cancers the energy that i'm tapping into i feel as though um there is an energy around a delay causing a problem having to wait a lack of knowing a lack of understanding a lack of clarity see here the picture is incomplete split in your energy because i'm also getting here anxious energy as well because it's like you're in like the middle of like really thinking and believing that your situation is going to change and you're waiting for it to change but starting to feel frustrated that it's not changing and I feel like you have a lot of things. It says too many things going on at once. I feel like you have a lot of things going on. And you may feel like you're under pressure. You may feel overwhelmed. You may be feeling burnt out by life. And ready for change. Yeah, see, look, burnt out, right? Yeah, you're feeling burnt out by life. You're ready for change. Yeah, see here, look. Positive change. It's all, You know it's coming. But it's like a matter of when it's going to come that I feel like is bothering you. Because you're starting to feel like it may not come because it's taking so long. Cancers, it's going to come in a, in, a, in a way that you're not expecting. So, okay. So, what I'm getting here with this change of luck, it says good fortune, positive change, unexpected. That's what I'm saying. It's unexpected happiness. But it's not going to come in a way that... Uh, initially rather you're going to be thinking it's going to come so what I am getting here cancers I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication and with this communication it's going to give you peace to wait to wait for this change because right now you're feeling anxious you're feeling like like hurry up when is this change going to happen when is my life going to get better and that's why I said you're in the middle it's not ready yet it's actually being prepared but you're going to get a message that's going to give you peace to wait for it a little while longer. Tell me about cancers. Toxicity, that's what I'm saying. Like, see this brick raw, insurmountable obstacles, dealing with a lot of toxicity, toxicity, blocked for your highest good, not able to make progress. That's what I feel like is bothering you. You're not able to make progress. And says time to do things different. You're ready for different. You're ready for change. The situation is toxic. Dead in relationships. Having a toxic mindset. It's time to purge. Again toxic situations and people. So. Um, yeah see look at here. Leadership. Your soul work. Looking for meaning in life. And it says divine timing, something you can't control. So maybe you're, and look, see happiness. You're way ready for this. I feel like there's a person. That's what, that's where the, that's where the um, delay is. Because on the other side, this happiness, someone is watching you. There's someone or they will see you. Someone is going to see you. Some way, somehow, they're going to see you, find you online or see you online and they're going to think that you're good for this position that you're good for some sort of some sort of position that they have this is a high flu this is a high influential not influential a high influential you guys know what I mean. <laughs> this is someone that's that's has like high influence okay whoever this person is in business this is a leader they're going to see you and they're going to see you online, find you online. The time has to be right. So I know you're ready because even right here, so we got travel. I know you're ready for this to happen. But this person, there's something about this person that you're waiting for and don't know it. Because maybe you've yet to meet this person. Maybe you don't know them or if you do know them, they're not ready. So that's what's on the other side. So your happiness is on this side. So we're dealing with these obstacles, right? And we got here this leadership, this person seeing you online. And so you're ready to walk into your purpose. You're ready for your life to change, right? But we got here having to wait. 
and I feel like the wait and the delay is because it's not ready yet. You're going to have to go somewhere. I feel like you're being prepared in the wait and this person that you're going to be working next to who has high influence. There's some things going on on their side. It's about timing and the timing right now isn't right. However, I'm telling you, you're going to get a message that's going to give you clarity and give you peace to wait for this happiness on this side. Because you're on the side of obstacles. You're on the side of delays, toxicity. You're on that side. It says here, long distance travel, wanting to escape. So some of you definitely, you're ready to go. You are so ready to go. You're ready for this new adventure. But there's something here that has to be cleaned up, swept away, a negative situation. There's a negative situation that you don't see. There's things going on on this side, rather with this person or just in general, other things that moving pieces that you're not aware of that has to be prepared before you can go on that side. All right, what else for cancers? We got family coming in. For you, we got something going on around family, and then we got here blessings and an answer prayer in the future. In the future, that's what I'm saying. It's like just a little while longer with that clock, just a little while longer. Your prayer is going to get answered. This new adventure is going to happen. Hmm, there's something I want to look into this part though. There's something around family coming up for you and a blessing. Some of you, there could be an unexpected, because it says unexpected. I feel like for some of you, you're going to have an unexpected baby. That's going to be a blessing for those of you that that resonate with. Like there's something around for some where you're going to have an unexpected pregnancy. That's going to be a blessing, not to, to, just to you, but even to your family. But let's see what is going on here. Like a child, uh, this child is going to bring joy to the family. Um, also, I'm getting here that your purpose is going to bring joy to the family. There's something about you and what you're going to give birth to. Some of you is going to be a baby. Some of you is going to be uh, some sort of soul work, some sort of work that you're going to do that's going to be a blessing to your family. But we got to wait till we get there, right? Prayers. You and someone else are praying. There's you and someone else that's praying. But let me see what is this family situation about. And then I'm going to look a little bit more into these prayers. So maybe some sort of family situation. Prayers around that. Oh, I'm hearing the ambulance. Help. Help is on the way. You hear that? Help is on the way. That's that answer prayer. Help is on the way. Hmm. So I'm getting here. There's something about what there's something about this person that's coming in. Okay, let me let that pass. My apologies. All right, so there's something about the person that's praying. Like you're praying and this other person is praying. They're going somewhere. But then there's also something about the both of you and having some sort of awakening. You're connected to someone, your purpose. You and someone, you're going to work with someone around with your purpose. Now, I don't, I don't know if it's this person on this side yet. Because we're still over here with these. Okay, what's really going on? It feels like uh, unexpected help. Like, I know help is on the way, but there is something to do with unexpected help, too, that's coming in. Like a surprise. But I digress from that. But nevertheless, with this answer prayer, I feel like there is something connected to you and another person. I feel like whoever this other person is, I feel like they're starting some sort of new journey. So they may be moving or they may have moved or maybe they started a new job. 
there's just something new about them in their life and it's around that type of energy um uh, i'm seeing here an awakening taking place between the two of you with this judgment Hmm. Yeah, and it has to do here with some sort of will of fortune and chariot, cancer, some sort of change. And it's on the horizon. There's some sort of, and, and it's right here on future. So some sort of awakening is going to take place in the future and judgment. This feels like family watching. Someone may be a born again person, like someone that with this answer prayer, someone may be born again, maybe getting baptized. And family coming to watch. But I'm also getting here something connecting to you and this person and family coming to watch. I don't know. Let me see. What is this about? What is this about? Because it feels like it's in the middle. We got here the sun card. Happiness. A transformation. But this is about future. What's going on? I don't want to get right there just yet. Okay, so yeah. Oh, wow. There's a there's a mother. That's where family is coming in. There's a mother that feels left behind. That's where this... Okay, because I'm getting here two different things. The other side is the blessing. This side is the prayer for this breakthrough to break away from toxic situation there's a mother that's not going to be happy about these um answer prayers this new chapter and this unexpected blessing that's going to be taking place between you and this person there's someone's mom or some sort of feminine energy that's going to be stressed out and feeling like they're going to be left alone they feel like they're going to be alone because someone is going to be leaving. They're going to feel left by their child. Because maybe they were codependent on their child. Someone's mom is not going to be happy about the two of you being together and leaving. Because I'm seeing on the other side of it, happiness for you. And there's some support, but there's going to be there's going to be some sort of support from family and or friends. But there is a mother who refuses, who refuses to take part in it because she's judging. There's something about the situation with the two of you being together. This mother is judgmental. Hmm. I wonder why this mother is judgmental. Just like they don't want the mother doesn't want to see the two of you together. Let me see why. Why does this mother not want to see cancers and this person together? Whether this is your mother or their mother. Somebody mom is not happy about this um, union. And the both of you have been praying about the situation or will be praying about it. Because there's just been delays, toxic situations and toxic people. This mother may not even want anything for the um, to do with the child. Turning their back on the child. Yet yeah, look, bad girl. What rules? Hmm. They may have a health issue or some sort of medical issue. Look, the father isn't there. It says absent father. So they may have had to rely on this person. And they feel like they're going to be alone. Because they could have made this person. Yeah, see here, new again, playing, taking off. See, going away. They're going to feel left behind. And maybe because they have a medical concern or there's some sort of medical issue and they feel like they don't have anyone, they're going to feel neglected. And I feel like this is someone that took care of their mother or their mother was dependent on them. And that's where that struggle, praying, like, help me to make this decision. Help me to, to take this leap of faith. Help me to do this. Because I feel like when I was picking up that born again energy, uh, I feel like this person wants to, you or this person, whoever it is, wants to do the right thing. It's like, I want to do the right thing. But however, feeling called to do something else, feeling called to go in a different direction. Hmm. So the mother sees you as bad. 
the mother may see, or or sees this person as bad. Somebody's mom is seeing um the person that their child is with as bad cuz they feel like you're the reason or they're the reason for this shift. It's like this mother is unforgiving, bitter. Yeah, look, angry. Look, why? Because of a change of environment. That's why. There's a mother that, and I feel like she's holding the other person responsible for this change. For this person even feeling inspired to go into a different direction. See, look, it has to do with the business, I told you. And remember we saw the leadership position over here online. So someone is going to get seen online and get an opportunity to go away. And it's going to require them to actually physically move. This change of environment requires them to get on the plane because they were saw online. They saw they got found out online. Someone someone saw this person online and or you. And you're going to because you I feel like you're going to be going somebody is you're going to be going with this person or they're going to be coming with you. But like I said, there's a mother that's just not going to like this. And I'm seeing here. I don't know what this. Uh, hmm, let's see what else comes through. What else can you tell me? Um, so we know what's going to be going on with this transition. People, you and this person praying. And unfortunately, people just not being happy about this situation. But you will be happy. The sun card is coming in on this side. You're going to eventually find peace and happiness. Again, there's joy at the end of this tunnel. Where you're going. It's just a matter of having to work through the obstacles. Work through the toxicity. Dealing with other people is going to be the problem. See the Eight of Cups. Look at this. Someone have, I told you someone having to leave. Whether that's you or this person. Or both of you. This could be symbolic for the both of you. Having to go. Because like I said, I, you're not going on your own. There's two people right here. So let me see, what can you tell us about this business situation? And this Eight of Cups symbolizes like I don't want to go or I feel bad about leaving, but I have to. I have to go. Because you feel you got some sort of awakening. You both will feel an awakening. You both will feel called to go down this path. And unfortunately, someone just won't like it. Tell me about this uh, this leadership, this being found. Because I'm, I'm someone is going to see someone online. And here comes the opportunity. And we saw two planes. So that's what I'm saying. You and someone else traveling. I feel like one is going to, one is going to get the call first. And then you may go as a result of them. Or they may go as a result of you. See, here's the, uh -oh, here's the Wheel of Fortune. Here's the Wheel of Fortune going somewhere. That and this this Wheel of Fortune symbolizes destiny. Like here, like this is your path. This is why someone has to go, even if it's gonna upset this mother. This is my path. This is my destiny. This is my dream come true. I know this is where I'm supposed to go. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my spirit that this path will make me happy. This is the path that I'm being guided down. I feel it. This is my purpose. This is my purpose to go this way. You both will feel like this is your purpose to go in this direction. See, here's the magician. Magic manifesting. This is something major. Because of someone's creativity, someone has some sort of skill set. And they're going to be able to put it to use. I'm also getting here for some of you, um, 
this is going to open the doors to a lot of different options. You may be working with your hands, maybe painting or making something. Or this position or going in this direction is going to allow you the opportunity to have more free time to do the things that you actually love and enjoy. Because we saw the sun car. I feel like you're going to be feeling less burden. I really feel like you're going to feel less burden. You're going to be in the energy. It feels like divine. It feels like divine feminine energy where she's not having to be in that survival mode and she's able to actually do things that bring her peace, bring her joy, things do things that she actually love, make and create things. That's what I'm getting here for you. This change is it's going to feel good. Happy but at the same time, it's going to feel bad because you're having to leave behind someone. So it's going to be a little bit of drama with this transition. Yeah, here comes the Queen of Cups. That's you. Yeah, and see, here's the Page of Wands. That's what I'm saying. There's someone coming towards you. You're going to be with someone. This is a different land. I'm telling you, you're going to be, you're moving and it's, and it's not something you're going to be expecting and it's not going to happen when you think it's going to happen. I feel like, let's say you may think, oh, it may happen in the summer. No, it's going to happen in the spring. You may be thinking, oh, it's going to happen in the fall. No, it's going to happen in the winter. Like I'm saying it to say the time that you think is going to happen, it's not going to happen that time. It's not. It's not. Someone has, to, someone is going to go before you. That and and they're going to be in a leadership position now. It's, it's it is them. It is them that's in this leadership position, or you, and then they come behind you. Take it how it resonates. But there's something around that. Like someone is going to get a call. They've been seen online. They're going to be doing some sort of uh, leadership position, and then they're going to want to be with the person that they love and have them come be with them there. Either that's you. That's going to be in this position and they're coming where you are or vice versa. It's them and you're going where they are. But we got here the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands coming in. Justice is coming through. This I'm telling you, you and this person are going to be in a whole nother town. And it feels, it feels like where you're going to be is going to be peaceful. It's not going to be a lot of people where you live. Because I feel like that's going to be important. Some of you may live by water. Or live near nature when you do do this. It's like I don't want to live around a lot of people. That's what I'm getting with this energy. I don't see a lot of people. It feels like getting back to nature. Getting back to more earth like water. Um, earth like that things. Even some of you may have like an organic garden. Or you may go to like a farmer's market. It feels like the community that you're going to be in. It's, an, it's a beautiful community. Nature rise, healthy food, organic food. It's going to be beautiful. Now, what I'm also getting here is that someone else is going to come. There's someone else. I don't feel like right away. I feel like you and this person are going to get settled. But I feel like there's going to be another person that's going to come as well. Because I feel like when you and this person get there, you're going to love it so much. It's going to feel so peaceful. The air is going to feel so clean. Because see, look at here. Look at how he has the bandana what, where he's leaving. Where he's leaving, it was desolate. Where he was leaving, it was smog. It was toxic. It wasn't healthy. But now going someplace that's actually healthy. Like the air feel good. The food is natural. Like it just feels like an organic environment. And it's around good people. Family oriented. Family oriented people. Some of you may get involved in the church. Or get involved into some sort of community work um, in that environment. It's going to be a place where people know each other. You see the chickens here? See, that's what I'm saying. Some of you may have like a, a, a farm or have like your own garden, have your own hen, right? That's what it's giving me. It's giving me like a natural organic environment and you're going to love it. It's going to be peaceful. It's, it's nice, Cancers. And like I said, I feel like a friend or a family member, I don't know who it is, though, they're going to take a risk and come and um, visit this place. And I feel like they're going to want to end up staying as well. It, it really looks good, though. It really looks good. And this could also be with this save the date. This could be some, um, there could be some sort of like event 
this is a wedding cake so somebody could be getting married all right let me see what is cancer what's next for cancer that they need to know about oh that's the baby for some of you that say the date could be like a baby shower or something or or celebrating this uh home-based business or celebrating a house maybe you guys move into this nice house or whatever and you want you know a housewarming there's something monumental that's going to happen in your life that you're that's probably where that person is coming to visit and is going to love it there and want to live as well all right let's see i don't feel like i do want to say this whoever this nine of swords energy is i don't feel like they're alone i feel like they have someone around them but they don't want the person that's around them like this nine of swords energy is making me feel like someone is being stubborn and being unreasonable i feel like they they're not by themselves it's just that whoever this person that's leaving is a big part of their life and they're going to feel lost without them because that person has always been around them so let's say for example uh this mother this mother has two sons one of the sons is leaving but she still have a son and that son may have like a wife or a family that's still around so they're not by themselves but they're mad because that one son is their favorite son although they love both sons the same but that one son is their favorite son and they're mad that they're leaving it's like you're taking my favorite son you're taking my child away that's what i'm getting here but they're blaming you because of this person taking this risk and this change or vice versa all right, so what's the final message for cancers? Renewal. Erasing previous mistakes. Yes, it says allowing purge. See, something needs to be purged away. That's why timing is sitting right up here. There are some things that need to be handled before you can move to this other side. That's why I said there's going to be some sort of communication that's going to come in. And I feel like this person has cried. Like this was not something that's easy. Who, whether that's you or them or the both of you. Like making this move is not going to be easy because you are leaving someone behind that may have like a, a health issue or older so it's going to be painful like i said they didn't want to go but they feel this pull they feel this is their destiny they feel this calling to do it both of you will right so i feel like tears someone actually cried tears and see here's that ring say the date so again i feel like this is going to be someone that um uh, it says here that either you're going to have like a commitment, a committed relationship with maybe some sort of contract. It could be business, but also, you know, a proposal, a partnership, long term intention. And it says here marriage. And even it says here joy, intimacy, creativity, like this connection is going to inspire you. It's going to because we saw you making things. And doing things, being creative. We saw that for you. This person, somebody's going to feel a need to take care of somebody. That's what I'm getting here. It's like you rest, relax, do what you want to do. I'm going to handle everything. And that's why you're going to, whoever this feminine energy is, is going to be able to rest in her femininity because the masculine is going to be doing all that heavy lifting. And I feel like being in that environment, being connected to that person is going to be that sun part that we saw, bring in that joy and bring in that passion to create that passion to do things that you love. This relationship, the connection between the two of you, the intimacy, the pleasure is going to birth creativity. And for some of you birth a baby. See, here is that leadership coming in. This person, somebody's going to be in a leadership position where they're able to carry the other one, where they're able to carry a family, a hard worker. And that's that messy masculine energy. I told you, a masculine energy is a hard worker, wants to build a life. This masculine energy wants a family. They want to be a leader. They want to be a provider. This is someone that does a honor, doing the honorable thing. That's why they cried leaving this person behind. Because remember I said born again. Like I feel like this person could be someone that's religious. A traditional person. Like they have some sort of values where you know you take care of your mom. Or you do right by your mother. No matter what. Like they will put their dreams to the side just to please this mother. 
And I'm not saying that that's traditional, but I'm just saying that to say that they were putting their life on hold. But God is saying, I've called you to do something else, to follow your dreams. And because, and because you've sacrificed, I want to bless you with this leadership position, but you can't do it in your old environment. You can't do it in this environment. I'm calling you to move to a new environment. See high status. I'm putting you in a leadership position, authority to reward you because they spent the season sacrificing. See, here is the sun. And here's the communication, bold and clear communication. I told you, you're going to get that communication and it's going to make you happy. It's going to make you be able to wait and see all is not lost. Don't give up message from spirit, harnessing spiritual gifts. Prayers are heard. Prayers are heard. I'll catch you later. Bye.